Acheronian Sorcery version 2.7 is the next Conan Exiles Sorcery mod I've tested. It comes in two different flavors, the standard version and the admin version. The difference between the two is that with the standard version, there's no restriction for players to get the sorcery feats. So everyone can learn magic if they're willing to spend the points. The admin version, on the other hand, makes it so that only the administrator of the server decides who gets to access magic. It's intended for role-playing servers or other servers where magic or ability should be kept exclusive. This mod is nicely done and it has a certain amount of polish to it. A lot of thought has gone into how it works and it even honors the corruption mechanic. How it works is you have to spend your feat points to unlock the appropriate magic feats. From there you can make a magic forge and craft magic scrolls. You can then drag these scrolls onto your crafted Acheronian staff. When you equip the staff and right click, the spell will be launched as a very accurate projectile, and wherever this projectile lands, the spell effect will appear. Equipping the staff will cause you to gain corruption, so you want to equip your staff and shoot off your spell, then put it away again as fast as possible to stop the accumulation of corruption. The spells are split up under the following feats, and we'll begin with the necromancy. Regarding summons, there's two types of summonable minion to keep in mind. You've got PvE and PvP. PvE minions will not attack you, whereas PvP minions seem hostile to everything, including you, and they also tend to be more powerful. I believe the idea is you're meant to summon these more powerful yet uncontrollable minions as far away from you as possible so they can cause chaos in an enemy base. The first necromancy spell is Summon Torch Skeleton for PvE. It summons a naked skeleton with a torch and a kopesh for 90 seconds. To craft a scroll, you require one papyrus scroll, one weathered skull, one torch, and 25 bones. The next summon is Summon Skeleton Archer for PvP. It summons a naked skeleton with a bow for 90 seconds. This requires a papyrus scroll, one weathered skull, 15 bone arrows, and 20 bones. Next we've got Summon Silent Legion Warrior for PvE. This summons an armored skeleton warrior that lasts two minutes. You need a papyrus scroll, one weathered skull, one glowing magical dust, and one iron broadsword. Finally, we've got the Summon Death Knight for PvP. It summons the Death Knight for two minutes. This requires a Papyrus Scroll, one Withered Skull, two Glowing Magical Dust, and one Dragon Powder. Next, we've got the Demonology Feat. The first spell for that is, is called Call the Child of Jill for PvP. It summons a Bat Demon for 90 seconds. For this spell, you need a Papyrus Scroll, a water orb, glowing magical dust, and five demon blood. Then we've got cool sand beast for PvP. It summons a fast demon beast that lasts 90 seconds. We require a papyrus scroll, five sand reaper toxin, two glowing magical dust, and one dragon powder. Finally, we've got sets chosen for PvE. This summons a giant snake for two minutes. You need a scroll, five serpent venom, two magical glowing dust, and one dragon powder. Moving on, we've got the curses and sorcery feat. The first spell for this feat is void travel. It lets you teleport to the location where the spell effect takes place. So you shoot, and wherever that projectile hits, you'll be teleported there. You need a papyrus scroll, 50 magical dust, 50 crystals, and one purified water. Next up, we've got the Burning Souls Prison. This creates a bubble which traps whatever units are inside it and stops anyone outside the bubble from entering and anyone inside the bubble from exiting. For this, you need a Papyrus Scroll, Glowing Magical Dust, Free Alchemical Base, and a Glass Flask. Finally, we've got Pits of Defile. This creates a corruption effect at the target location you need a scroll, glowing magical dust, a grease orb, and five corrupted stone. The final magic feat is called elementalism. 
The first spell you get here is called Balls of Abaddon. It creates a line of fire from the caster to the target. You need a papyrus scroll, one demon fire orb, ten corrupted stone, and one alchemical base. Then you've got the Scourge spell. This summons a small sandstorm that does area of effect damage over time. You need a papyrus scroll, two of the glowing magical dust, one gaseous orb, and one potent compost. The spells are expensive to craft, even the simpler ones, although they aren't that much more expensive than crafting decent equipment. The cheapest spells seem to be the basic skeletons, as they require mostly burns, but you have to remember that they only last a short period of time, and whatever effort you put into gathering the resources to build these things is going to be a lot more time and effort than what the actual result of having these things will be. I think that on a well-populated server, a mage armed of these spells could be a great asset to an invading force, but it would require a clan with a decent economy to be able to afford these spells, especially the more expensive ones. For single player or a low populated server, I'm not sure that all the hard work and preparation would pay off. It's far more cost effective to fight conventionally without spells, which is why I think these spells are more suited towards a large player base where they could give a substantial edge in an engagement. I'm not a fan of the time nature of any of the minions, especially the PvP ones. Why should these demons and stronger undead expire after a minute or two, especially when they're this expensive? It'd be cool if a mage could repeatedly summon hostile demons into an area and leave them there like a kind of barrier. I can see how this would be abused on a bigger server, but single player and co-op are also a part of this game. So all in all, my conclusion is that the mod doesn't lend itself terribly well to single player or small population servers, but it should be wonderful for larger ones. It pains me to award the mod a 4.8 out of 10 for its minion mechanics, but it can't be denied that the minions are unsatisfying. This time minions ensure that you never have an army, and whatever minions you manage to make, after a lot of hard work, will crumble to dust after a very short period of time. You'd have to invest hours of crafting to get the higher level minions, only to have them hang around for less than 2 minutes. It's a good mod, but it's not what I'm looking for. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I've got more necromancy content coming your way soon.